Okay, this is the continuation. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Yeah, let the bad people be addicted. Even though everybody's good in their own eyes. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. <laughs> A phone? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Apparently not. Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Oh god. I'm in a locker room only wearing a jersey. Sitting on... Only wearing a football jersey, so... That's... That, I just threw it from my mouth a little bit. This must be for training kids. Go through the females now? How oh, we can! Hey, Clara. Boys or girls? Girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Well then. Is it just gonna Those be Those are some musty ass old shirts. <laughs> Where does that other sock go? Oh my god, she just asked all the right questions. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive in with Warren. They're, they're made for each other. Warren! Don't go for Max. Go for Brooke. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Not the middle of the first one. Or the third one. Otters eat beavers. Oh, um. it. It burns. I don't... I don't get... all oh. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Alright, so where's the towels? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? Delete. So... Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own... Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Oh, that's the pool. I want to see what's over here. I hope so, friend. Rachel Ebedes? Dear Kate, got to... A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. God, go fuck them. Just F them up really, really hard. Alright, let's go swimming. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Bars. Now what light? In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the... Yes, we get it. Otters. Hmm? A cup? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. One gives you energy and one makes you tired. I actually kind of correct about that. I does look majestic AF. AKA as fuck. <laughs> I can't do that. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. 
tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie? I am. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. I would not leave my phone that close to water. Just disguise advice. Cowabunga. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. How? I can't watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> That's bad water I'll just and animation. Otter's revenge. Cheater. S sounds yeah, like a movie. You wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, her ears are I'm underwater. I think everything is related, and I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. <laughs> Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Twice. What if I ha oh thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. Mm. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because Sorry. we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's go. Thought it was heat at water. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Oh, now your clothes and cars gonna smell like chlorine. Like just went swimming in chlorine bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi. Acting like he didn't hear that. Oh, I gotta go. Um, Move, this. Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Okay, I'm here. Let's go. Oh. Are you shitting me? First of all, that's a window. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I can yes, that's a perfect example. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hey! Hello? Go, go. Ah! Third person advantage. Hello? Anybody there? No.
Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Hey! Didn't I hear that? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Okay, now how am I gonna do this? Where are they? Hello? Oh, I see myself. I'm stuck in that corner. Hello? Anybody there? No! Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? Not me, I'm gone. We are so invisible. That's so ninja. Well, kind of cheating life. But, hey, what you gonna do? I'm gonna call so I can clear my- th Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. That's a trip. There's something I could have said, but I'm going to leave it alone. Let's just keep this with a win. What's that W? America morning can't sleep I like that shirt Really? I don't know anybody Always that would take a selfie in the morning. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. 
Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I would love to just sit there, but I don't want to waste the entire time cuddling. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Man. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I have an extra just in case you change your mind. Warren, just ask Brooke. Anything from private numbers? Talk low. If I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Nice. Chloe put my pick on her phone. I must have proved I was worthy again. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Chloe, my money now. I have your money, I thought. When? I text you before the week's over with. Or else, do not F me, whore. Gun. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. But you took the clothes off. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. At least we haven't been identified yet. I have to go, especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out, trying to live. Examine. Wow, sir, that was my tenth birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Well, good friends always do keep my mem memorabilia. Examine. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Well, got some burgers and some condoms and bus tickets. All a dude really ever needs. Not yet. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, We'll pay it back. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I'm just looking around. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. But you didn't look hey, cosplay. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Mm -hmm. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. I'm the truth of their king. So I got to. Is it there? Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Okay. Most friends don't think other friends are going to kiss them. Oh, female Markiplier. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thresher out of you yet. Ready for no the piercings. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to... Uh, wake and bake first. I God. promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Well, get your doobie up. 
I've, I've, that's, there's only like two people I've heard call them doobies. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Unknown. Next, I want to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter, Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you stepped up to the roof with her. You must know what you did always possible. Kate's life was never in your hands or never hers at this point. Kate has left this for another world, but she'll always be with us, and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in their prayers. Peace and joy. Richard March. Marsh. What's the point of sending it from a private number if you're going to have your name? Oh, did you said unknown? Yeah. It's like when we were kids here. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Well, was she now? What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Okay. Use. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Hair dye. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Not for you. Not Max. You should just maybe just get like, hmm, like I'd red tips. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Grow up. Put him a like maybe red strands or red tips at the end. I think that'd look nice. I'm gonna get a sip of my diet coke now. And apparently there were some pictures I missed to take. Apparently not. Bottle. Who drinks beer this early around here? Chloe. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Yeah, to care about snow more than of death. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Okay. Cyril. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Who wouldn't eat the same cereal? Cereal is life. There's your travel money. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Hmm. Pink. I'm more of a waffle guy, so I'll take the eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. No, you can't. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. No, you shouldn't, because vegans, they eat plants, which is the animal's food, so that's kind of flip-flop. Do you never see me eating anything but meat? Thanks. That didn't sound After right. All these years and everything that's happened, I, it's I mix great all. to see I, you and Chloe together again. I have a diverse diet, as she you will. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. <laughs> Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Okay. Reminded me of you and Chloe. 
Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that Sweet. makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Okay. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Here I shall sit. And I saw an opportunity to go look at something, but I can't rewind. Can I? Nope. I just wanted to go out to their peanut butter. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive thing. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Plant. I guess yeah, nobody plant. waters the plant here. Food. Oh, now I'm hungry again. No, I said again. That's still some bacon. That's wasteful. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Well, eat them. I guess nobody waters the plant here. There's something I'm supposed to look at. Oh, here we go. She's just getting a Seeing book. you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. <laughs> My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Nope. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Speak of the devil and she shall appear. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, <laughs> I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Come on, Chloe. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Come on, Chloe. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Oh, drawers. <clears throat> Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Cupboard. Nothing to see here.
Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military... I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Not enough digits, huh? Nothing in it. I was just... I was just... I was just trying to leave that open. Switch on. Padlock. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Nope. Why would she want to? Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. That's still a cool looking picture. Actually, that's really detailed too, though. I could try the license number for the password. I'm just gonna get every bit of information and put it in the computer. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. A plate. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. I can. Just not all. You don't. Yeah. Just because you're a dude don't mean you don't have That's cute. moments when you want to be like that. Could be a password here. I, <sighs> she was going to keep searching. A knife. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. That's a military knife. Sun visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the dinner. Nice to know that a gentleman still exists. Love to talk to you again soon. By the way, my noise. By the way, the name is Joyce. If you forgot. That might be a useful password. To us, Diner. Oh, that's the day they met. So, they actually, like I said, I look. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Preach it. So, I literally got every little bit of information. So, if I don't have the password, I'm going crazy. Oh, I just got to. Oh, I get to choose which one I mess up first. Worst hacker ever. It's not hacking if it's a password. Score. Oh, I guess. Max the hacker strikes again. You just said you was a Whoa. bad hacker. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Like I said, I'm just going to pause it, let you read it, and I'll come back to it. Instead and of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Can I at least unlock the door? But now will it be still locked? Guess we'll never know. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I just gotta be loyal. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. 
You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Okay. Well, as I leave her house, I'm also going to leave this episode here. So I've been the Yellow Donkey. You've been my Yellow Bros and Yellow Sisters. I shall see you the next time you click on one of my new and or old videos. Peace.